guy and Mark Jordan have a lot in common. They both create beautiful music and have written for international stars like Cher, Rod Stewart, and Anne Murray. But another passion for them is the life they share together with their two children. Here to tell us how they continue to make beautiful music in the studio and at home, please welcome Amy Skye and Mark Jordan. Hi. So my friends are on my show with me. This is Unbelievable. Fun. Okay, so let's brag. Tell me about all the big shot covers you have, because people don't might, might not know people you. People know what covers are. Yeah, that's okay. You they're, tell them. They're not blankets. What are they? They're when um, uh, artists uh, record songs that you've written. Okay, so give me a few. What are some of the uh, big ones? Well, Rod Stewart is the big, the big, big, big. And one. what's the song? R rhythm of my heart. Sing a couple lines. Oh, the rhythm of my heart is beating Be like a drum. drum. Very the original. Lyric. You rolling off, off my, my tongue. tongue. Ooh, Ooh, Thank you, Rod. <laughs> and then, okay, what's another Rod big shot? Well, he also did a song called This, which was a single about a year and a half ago. How does it go? I did, have no, no words, words to say to you. you. How's it go, dear? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the memory. Okay. And, uh, yeah, she's <laughs> the brains, I'm the brawn. <laughs> okay, what about you, big shot? You, I mean, you have, like, how, you have about 50 other covers yeah. as well. And I, have a, I have a hit single right now as a duet with Aaron Neville and Anne Murray. That's what my love is for every night and day. Anyway, you wrote and that? Yes. I didn't know that. It did. That's good. Yeah. I want, can you give another big shot? You wrote uh, songs for oh, Heart? Oh, um, Heart. Okay, uh, sing, sing one of those. Uh, you hung my room in the dead of night. Voodoo Doll. That was Voodoo Doll. Uh, Melissa Manchester uh, was the title of her last record was If My Heart Had Wings, and if my heart had, everybody join in, had wings, <laughs> <laughs> which I did on my own record. So what's it, you, do you guys have never written together? Do you write oh, together? Oh, we have. Yeah. We have. In fact. We just hate doing it. <laughs> Are you we amused? have a lot of fun when we do it, so we save it for special occasions when we need, like, a little bit of cheering up. That's so it. you wrote a song together? We have yeah. one uh, that was just done at the... Uh, UNICEF. Yeah, song for a good cause. Yesterday in New York at the United Nations, 50th anniversary of UNICEF, Sharon Lawson Bram and the Harlem Boys Choir sung our so uh, <gasps> song. And don't ask us to sing it because we can't decide who would be Sharon or Lawson Bram and don't <laughs> get into that. Um, called Helping Hand. Isn't that yeah. nice? Yeah. Yeah. Really good nice. for you. Beautiful. Do you have different songwriting styles? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I, um, yeah, my songs tend to be darker and, and less about love and female nonsense Stuff. like that <laughs> and, and Amy's are about that but that's just lyrics I mean what about the the musical essence of the songs Is you st are you different in that way as well we well, you know we have a lot of collaborators that we work with who are the same people yeah. and and sometimes sometimes stylistically you know there's there's a resemblance but I, I think what distinguishes Mark's songs and mine are his he is a one of the few writers today that writes wonderfully visual lyrics. Mark paints pictures with his lyrics, very descriptive. And I, he writes more about the external world, and I write more about the internal world. Now, what I think is very interesting is when I met you, it was about three years ago, right? And you yeah. had just had your second baby. Yes. And you were saying, oh, I'm really fat. And you, were, you were way heavier. You're going, I'm fat. This is not really what I'm we're like at all. We're not talking about this on television. You, you said, I'm yeah, not like this true. at all. That's and true. I mean, you're back to your, to your yeah. fighting weight now and everything. Yeah. But you're your life really changed for yeah. you because you were like groovy chick around L.A., living in L.A., you knew all the big shots. And then I was fat chick around Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean, your life totally changed. You became Having a mother. Having children is difficult. You know, it takes its toll. What happened? Um, you got to tell, tell us what, what happened. Tell what happened, dear. Tell them what happened to me. Well, uh, um, with which one? Mm. Each one is a saga. Well, Our first child. Little. Well, the first uh, baby, uh, Amy, uh, you know. What, fell apart? She kind of fell apart <laughs> afterwards. She, she had postpartum depression. Yeah, that's tough. And I, had a, and I ha also had a postpartum <laughs> depression. That's yeah. something we have in common, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what made you so depressed? Um, you know, depression is not really the right word. Uh, my shock? It, shock. It's been referred to as a positive disintegration. Everything changes, with your first child particularly. I mean, it can happen with any child, but my whole, our whole world changed. I mean, we went from being groovy couple around L.A. to, like, sad couple with baby. <laughs> staying <laughs> Can't at, go out. Yeah, staying at home. And, you know, it was also just <laughs> coincidentally a very difficult time in our careers. In, in the music business, it's a real roller coaster. You go up and you go down. And, and Zoe arrived at a very down time uh, for us. And... Um, uh, uh, just a lot of life events, and I had turned, she was born on my 30th birthday. This is baby number one. Baby number one, yeah. yeah. And uh, I just couldn't bounce back. That said, 
How did that, you bounce that back? That maybe was the bottom, but it it Zoe, was Zoe was a little angel, so and everything a started picture, looking which up. Picture, which is which yeah. is this okay. one from there. Here, now this is interesting because this song, "I Will Take Care of You," is which a is song a big hit now. which is a big Beautiful hit for me song. now. You see, if I hadn't been bummed out, I wouldn't have had a hit. That's see? right. Yeah. See. Um, she was born on my 30th birthday, on September 24th, and that was the inspiration for this song, I Will Take Care of You, because when she was born, even in, it, well, actually, I wrote the song much later, um, I realized, you know, life is a, um, is a circle, and we pass everything from, from generation to generation. And uh, she, was, she was and is a wonderful child, and, and one of the things that helped eventually pull our lives back together was having this little angel in our life. But... Uh, but parents have to, have, have to yeah. show angel number two. Okay, and here's angel number two. This is who uh, I, I had just given birth to when we, we met. Yeah. This is Ezra. Bad haircut. Three old. I love that haircut. <laughs> and you can see how much he looks like Mark. Well, wow, actually yeah. does. Well, except <laughs> under the glasses, who can tell? Yeah, I know. Oh, well. So, the other big story in your life was well, I saw your blood brothers. Now, this is a big deal. Yeah. It's, I mean, this is a huge show. It was a big shot show in Toronto, and you hadn't been on stage doing, in, a, a, well, yeah. a professional production mm -hmm. ever? Semi-professional, and not since university. Tell us the story of how you got the part. Well, if it wasn't for Mark, I would not have even auditioned, because I got a phone call on a Friday night, and we were at dinner, and uh, Michael Burgess, who had already been cast in the play, said... Big shot, Michael Burgess. Big shot, Michael Burgess. He's a friend of yours. Yes, has become a good friend. Said, uh, I didn't know we knew so many big shots. <laughs> you know, this you is know me. Life. You know them all. Feeling good here. <laughs> okay. So Michael Burgess calls Call you. said, Helen Reddy's dropped out of the play. Um, they're desperately looking for someone to, to, to audition to get the role of Mrs. Johnston. And I said, uh, thank you very much. I'm not an actress. I have, uh, I have a record to promote. This record, in fact... She says shamelessly. You, you had just finished <laughs> recording that record. This record had been out three weeks when I got the call. And... Um, Anyway, so I hung up the phone, and I sat down and continued eating dinner. I said to Mark, I got the phone. I'd already call. slipped into a gown at this point. <laughs> well, no, the, well, tell them what you said. I said, Mark, I got a call to audition for the show. And I said, of course, I'm not going to do it. He said, what did you uh, say? If you don't do it, I'll put on a dress and do it myself. <laughs> now, this, this meant you That's flying right. to London to audition. 48 England. hours later, yeah. yeah. You flew? Flew to London 48 hours later without a passport, I might add, which is another whole story. Um, and... Got the original call Friday night. By Monday at noon, I had auditioned. I was got the part, and at one o'clock, was being measured for a costume and learning my script. And I was like, <laughs> "Whoa, what?" So happened? again, your life changed because you were working every night. What about the kids? Suddenly, Dad has to take care of. I went into another spiraling depression. <laughs> yeah, that was Mark's when, second, <laughs> which led to this album. <laughs> That's right. Old damn old damn old damn. I, I was wearing. Uh, yeah, I covered myself in mud for about three months. And, <laughs> and was, as you can Daddy, see. What What's up in your face? Well, let's take a look at that. We have a shot of you, or a video of you, as the star of Blood Brothers. Let's take a look. With Big Shot David Cassidy. Big Shot. What do you think? <laughs> Who was that woman <laughs> in the house coat and, and slippers? Now we're going to see the other side. We're going to see the pop side of the two of you. You're going to sing. Now, who, who, get to, who got to choose a song that you're going to sing? Well, it's the only one we know together, so <laughs> I guess... <laughs> Whose album is it and on? And I'm incapable of learning new songs. It's on your album? It, it, yes, it is. And what's it called? C called Catch the Moon. And did you sing on the actual album? Yes, I did. I was permitted okay. to sing one song. You will sit here, you will tune your guitar, and then you'll come back and sing, okay? okay. Beautiful. And you will not go away. Amy and Mark are going to sing Catch the Moon, Mark's new album, Cool Jam Black Earth. In the meantime, here's how you can get real. To get the guitar, let's go. Well, we have some very exciting news of our own. Here to sing Catch the Moon are Amy Skye and Mark Jordan. Time goes by on the parallel On the streets of fire Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Burning songs On my dark hallway Echo now Through the never, never, never And your life becomes Just a ritual It's so obvious to those Dance 
That's beautiful. Now listen, what? it's Christmas time, so I want everyone to go to the record store now and pick up Mark's new album. It's called Cool Jam Black. Black Earth. And also pick up Amy's album now. It's called Cool, cool Rain. Rain. Thank you very much. That was beautiful. You actually Thanks, like sir. each other, right? Yeah, we do. Kind of shows. Okay, go away. Come right back. Thanks. <laughs>